Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to use a pivot table to group times by the hour. So I have a list of about 5,000 odd rows here of pretend call center statistics. I simply have the name of the call center staff and then the time that the call was taken. And let's imagine that I wish to find out how many phone calls were taken within each hour. This is one day, I should add as well. This is one day, 24 hours worth of phone calls. So let me click within my range and insert my pivot table. And let's put this on the same sheet that I'm working on right now so that we can see everything that's going on. Let me just put it next door to my data. And I'm going to simply put the time into the rows area of my pivot table. And I'll put the name of the call center staff into my values area. So it produces this count. Now I am using Excel 2016. And in this version, it immediately looks to group date and time values. So you see that straight away on mine, I have a grouping by the hour and I didn't do anything apart from move that information into the rows area. I've actually got a, a plus sign to collapse that. I can see it's also breaking down by the minute and even the second, which I am not interested in. Now, those of you using a version of Excel prior to 2016, it will not do that. You will drag your time into rows and it will simply show that specific time and what happened at that time. What I will do now is right mouse click on one of those hours and I'll go into group and I'm going to remove the seconds and minutes because I'm not interested in that. Those of you on versions prior to 2016 will take this approach to select hours and perform your grouping. I'm using it to remove that level of detail from my group. I'm not interested. I click OK. And now I simply have the hour with no extra detail and how many phone calls we took within each of those hours. Now, I do have the name in my information as well of the call centre staff. So maybe I could take this a step further now and move the name of the call centre staff also into my rows area below the time. And I can see how many phone calls each member of staff took within that time frame. I could right mouse click on the count of the phone calls, sort that to largest to smallest. And now within each hour of the day, I have the individual who took the most phone calls down to the individual who took the least in addition to a total which for one last change to my pivot table I may go to the design tab at the top and ask to see that subtotal at the top of the group as opposed to having it at the bottom my personal opinion that looks a bit neater now rather than having two kind of uh, summary areas and now just have this header with the count and then top down this salespeople who took those phone calls. So I hope you found this video useful. This was how to group times by the hour in your Excel pivot tables. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.